Hi everyone, welcome to Sightseeing and Tourism. I'm Renal Reed and today we're in Saratoga Springs. Congress Park to be exact. I'll be taking you around this wonderful iconic city in upstate New York. Now since we're in Congress Park, let's check out this part of the city first. Saratoga Springs isn't called Saratoga Springs for nothing. Here I am at one of the springs in Congress Park, which is mineral water from the ground, coming right from the ground. And so if you want to, you don't have to buy water at the store. You can, if you have a water bottle, you can just put it into one of these four spigots where water comes out. If you don't have a water bottle, you can just lean down here and take a sip or put your hand. Or if you have a water bottle, just Put it right here at one of these spigots and fill up, like I'm doing. Let's taste this water. This water is quite good actually. While you're in Congress Park, be sure to ride the Congress Park Carousel. Now this carousel first made its debut here in Saratoga in 1910. It was then auctioned for a price of over $150,000. According to the U.S. National Carousel Association, of the three to four thousand wooden carousels carved here in America between 1885 and 1930. Less than 150 of them still operate today. The Congress Park Carousel is the only wooden carousel carved by Marcus Elliott's that still operates today. And this is a two-row carousel. So with all that said, let's take a ride on the Congress Park Carousel.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Megan. Hi. And we're here at the Charles F. Dowd Memorial. Yes. And you said he's the first person to create time zones. He was the first person to come up with the idea of standardized time in which uh, varying every 15 degrees, the time was altered by an hour to create standardized time for locomotives. For basically the trains. Yes. Yep. And he was from the early 1800s till about 1905? Uh, he actually passed away in 1904. He was found under the wheel of a locomotive, um, a train. Um, here in Saratoga, um, but yes, in the uh, in the mid 1800s, he was the principal of the girls' school, which is now uh, present-day Skidmore College, and he shared the idea with one of his uh, one of the students there mm -hmm. about the idea of standardized time uh, in order to make it easier to schedule trains across the country, because um, one train could leave at say 12:02 and. The next train could be leaving Chicago at one o'clock and it would all be at the same time and it made it difficult to schedule arrivals and departures and things like that. So he came up with the idea of standardized time. And by the way, uh, Skidmore is no longer a girls college, it's a co-ed college now, right? Correct. Yep. Yes it awesome. is. Yes. Because <laughs> I've been to it. Yes. Yep. Skidmore College is uh, is a co-ed school. It's primarily an art school, um, but there are you can take all sorts of classes. And Charles F. Dowd died in 1904 here in Saratoga. Here in Saratoga, under the wheel of a train. And here it is, right behind us. <laughs> All right. That is the okay. memorial. Yes. Um, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in the Saratoga Spa State Park, and behind me is a sundial clock in dedication to Newman Pete Waite Jr., who was the president of SPAC, which is the Saratoga Performing Arts Center. And this sundial clock is in dedication to him. And as we can see here, the spire is pointed here at seven o'clock. Might be 7.30 by now, but I'm going to take you around and show you the numbers. It goes from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Here's 7 o'clock, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and that's it. And this only works during the day, not at night, because there's no sun during the night. And no sun after 6 p.m. But I think this is pretty cool. See it? It's pretty big, right? Yes. Pretty cool, right? It's all deposits from the mineral water. Yes, it is. It's pretty cool, right? Whoa. Yes. You just saw it, right? <laughs> so what do you think of the tufa deposits at Orinda Spring? It's um, 
the biggest po deposits right there that I've ever seen. The biggest. The sparkling mineral waters for which Saratoga is justly famous originate in limestone bedrock layers, 100 to 1,000 feet below the surface of the ground. Limestone is composed of the remains of tiny sea creatures which thrived in a lagoon here 425 million years ago. The waters are protected by a thick layer of shale, compressed mud, that was laid down about 12,000 years ago when the area was covered by a glacial lake. When Saratoga's fault shifted later in the glacial period, the famed waters escaped through cracks in the shale and bubbled to the surface. They have been flowing here ever since. Derived from the limestone through which the water flows. The tufa can build at a rate of half a cup per 100 gallons of mineral water. Look for large tufa formations below Orenda Spring and the island spouter, Spouting Springs. Many refer to the naturally spouting springs as geysers. However, a geyser only occurs when heat is involved. Geysers are propelled out of the earth by pressurized steam. Saratoga spouters, whose temperatures range between 48 and 56 degrees Fahrenheit, are pushed to the earth's surface by pressurized carbonic gas. We've already shown you the spring at Congress Park, which is mineral water, but we're at the Joseph El Bruno Pavilion, if I'm saying that correctly. Correct, Joseph El Bruno. And this is the freshwater spring, this if I'm correct. Is. This is the state seal spring. It's one of two freshwater springs in Saratoga. Saratoga is known for their mineral, mineral water. They're naturally cold mineral water. However, there are two springs. They're both referred to as the State Seal Spring. One is here at the Joseph L. Bruno Pavilion. Mm -hmm, which there, we're at. there are multiple spigots, and usually this place is so busy. So, if this place is too busy, you can also head into the Saratoga Spa State Park for the other State Seal Spring, which is the only other place where you can get naturally cold fresh water right from the ground. Okay. So, um, I think I'm going to try some. I highly recommend it. The drains are slightly, uh, slightly clogged, so it's a little wet around here. Um, the state seal, sorry, I was going to say the state seal spring was actually moved from across the street. The old automotive plant used to be the bottling plant. So the Saratoga water that you find in stores used to be bottled at the uh, automotive museum across the street um, around the early 1900s. And I, when I touch it, the water seemed like it was actually hot. Really? A little bit warm. What do you think now? It's, it's cool. Yeah? Yeah. Yep, it, it's cool, but it, it's not really cold, cold. Okay. Well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Usually it comes out cold. It feels cold. Mm hmm. But, uh. Maybe okay. just not today. <laughs> Maybe not today. Maybe you're warmer than you think. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. It does feel a little warmer than usual. It does. Maybe it's the pipes or the pumps. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's go check out the other spring. As we mentioned at the Joseph El Bruno Pavilion, mm -hmm. this would be the state seal spring in the Spa State Park. It is special because it is the only other freshwater spring. Aside from the Joseph L. Bruno Pavilion, this is the only other natural freshwater spring. It's located right next to the spring, just down the hill from SPAC, 
The Geyser Island Spouter is right across that street, right over there. The Carista Spring is, or Carista Pavilion is right over, actually the Carista Springs over there too, but the Carista Pavilion is right over there. So if you're ever here on a hot day, this is kind of like the picnic area of the Spa State Park without renting a pavilion. Mm -hmm. This is where you can come for a nice fresh cool drink. And for the sake of it, I will try some here All right. as well. Well, tastes just the same, correct? Yep. It's good. That's good water right there. Ooh. Oh, and many other states have hot springs, if I'm correct. Correct. Yes. This is the only one that's naturally cold. Naturally cold mineral springs, yes. Mm -hmm. There's one at the Joseph El Bruno Pavilion that has mineral water, but all the other ones have fresh water, if I'm correct. You are correct. This one, this particular state seal though, is only fresh water. So if you're at the Joseph El Bruno, on the back side, there's one spigot that spits out mineral water if you want to go and fill up your jugs. But this one is only fresh water, and, uh, but you can still come and fill up your jugs here too. And Yeah, this water is quite good, actually. You like it? Mm-hmm. Yes. Absolutely. All right. What this is, is a ballet slipper. You'll find these all around the city of Saratoga because the New York City Ballet takes place here in Saratoga at SPAC every year. I'm in the state park, but they're all over downtown, which I'll show you some of them later, but this is one of the ballet, many ballet slippers that are around the city of Saratoga. And it's just like different art projects around the city. It's just like the Uncle Sam's down in Troy. But in, in Saratoga, you got these ballet slippers. And you got horses, which I'll show you a little later. Okay, everyone. Now, before we leave the Saratoga Spa State Park, I'd like to take you inside the Saratoga Auto Museum. Now, this auto museum is dedicated to the past, present, and future of the automobiles in the state of New York here. It was also at one time the Saratoga bottling plant. In fact, it still says bottling plant here. And I think we mentioned it before. It's not the bottling plant anymore. It's the Saratoga Auto Museum. Now, I'm assuming they have a collection of old 1950s, 40s, 30s, 20s, and probably from 
ever since the dawn of the automobiles here in the state of New York. Now, with all that being said, let's check out the Saratoga Auto Museum.
Okay, so now we're out of the state park and we are at Yado. I believe that this is a place where many famous artists or and or filmmakers or composers, uh, composers artists, writers, writers came to do their work. Yes. It was actually founded by Spencer and Katrina Trask. Katrina Trask was it was an author. So in her honor they built Yaddo Gardens. The original mansion was where they lived and then when they passed they left it to a foundation that basically uh, residents, um, artists, things like that can come and take up residence for the summer for a few weeks for a couple of months things like that and take in the beauty of Yaddo Gardens. Yaddo was named because Spencer Trask's daughter could not pronounce the word shadow and because she couldn't pronounce the word shadow it, she said Yaddo and or Yaddo Yado. and um, yep so Yaddo Gardens came because she couldn't pronounce shadow so it's actually Yaddo Gardens and not Yaddo Gardens but even even I said Yaddo instead of Yaddo yep well, a lot of people say Yaddo it's it it seems like the natural but it's actually supposed to rhyme with shadow because the uh, the daughter the Trask's daughter could not uh, say the word shadow so it was actually Yaddo so it's Yaddo Gardens and it's open there's uh, rose gardens behind me as as we will uh, as we will see there's fountains and sundials and there's off into the woods there's waterfalls and streams and ponds and it's just it's a gorgeous and awe-inspiring little plot of lands and it's uh, perfect perfect for anyone looking for inspiration for their art yes absolutely and actually uh, Edgar Allan Poe found uh, inspiration for the Raven staying at the uh, at the Yaddo uh, mansion we're good we're good we're gonna go take a look at the gardens some roses yes lots of roses there's a rock garden there's roses there's fountains there's there's so many things and we're gonna go take a look at all of it All right, everyone, I'm here at a restaurant that probably not a lot of you have heard of, Lake Local, located on Saratoga Lake, just before you get to the Saratoga Lake Bridge. I'm having chicken strips and Saratoga chips for lunch on this day. These chicken strips are absolutely to die for, especially when you have barbecue sauce. Oh my, it's the best. And these Saratoga chips are to die for. Um, there's no other chip out there that, at least in my opinion, that I've ever had that are as good as these. Uh, so, yeah, if you're looking for a laid-back place away from downtown Saratoga, you can come here.
Now, since the Saratoga Lake Bridge is right behind me, this could also be an opportunity for you to go bridge jumping. Don't worry, the people who own Lake Local don't mind you bridge jumping, but do so at your own risk. If you're thinking about pizza here in Saratoga, you should come to Marino's Pizza. They have the best pizza ever. Now they serve more than just pizza. They also serve a variety of different Italian dinners and hot and cold sandwiches. <laughs> now, one suggestion though, if you're going to have pizza here at Marino's, bring a lot of napkins because their pizza is quite greasy. Yes, their pizza is quite greasy. So yeah, if you want pizza in Saratoga, come here. Anyways, let's continue sightseeing. The most popular thing to do here in Saratoga is the Saratoga Race Course. Now, the Saratoga Race Course has been here since August 4th, 1863 and is the oldest sports venue in the United States. It was created by two wealthy men who were also horse owners, John Hunter and William Travers created the Saratoga Race Course which was then across the street on that side of Union Avenue. In 1864, the track moved to this side of Union Avenue at its present location. The first meets lasted four days. Then, as time went on, the meets then expanded out longer and longer to the present six weeks time. In fact, Saratoga loves its horses so much that I found them all over the city. They're everywhere. So with all that said, let's check out the Saratoga Race Course.
it comes to ice cream in Saratoga, think no further than Ben and Jerry's. They have a variety of different flavors. My personal favorite is peanut butter and chocolate chump. On a nice day, you can even come out here to the double swing and sit out here and enjoy your ice cream. If you're in the mood for ice cream and you're in downtown Saratoga, it's not too far away from Congress Park. So my favorite ice cream here is fish food. And mine is the coconut seven layer bar. We love coming here to Ben and Jerry's in Saratoga because we get to enjoy this great patio while enjoying our ice cream. And Congress Park is right around the corner. It's amazing. Um, I'm here with Olivia yeah. and I'd like to know what brought you here to Saratoga? Um, so I come here because I like to do chalk art. I um, think it's fun. I live in Clif Clifton Park so I'm not too far away from here. Um, so yeah, it's a fun place to be. Saratoga's always hopping. Uh, lots of people to meet and um, just a cool environment. The track is cool too. Especially now that track season is in full bloom. Yeah, yep. Um, I haven't been to track yet since it opened yet, but I plan to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's, this place is always bustling when the track is in season. Yep. So, Olivia, do you, do you love Saratoga? Oh, yeah, I love Saratoga. It's a really cool place to come in the summertime. I do too. It's cool. So. You need to stay by us, please. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. So I want to know what, what brings you here to Saratoga? Uh, well, I live in Saratoga and I also do sidewalk chalk artwork yes, okay. on the street. And it's uh, good. This is a great place to be in the summer. Absolutely. It's the best place to be in the summer. Are you here for the track or have you been to the track? or? Well, I live here, but I do go to the track a lot. Mm -hmm. And. So I saw some of your some of your chalk art. It's it's great. Thank you, thank you. I've been working on it for a long time. Uh huh. Okay. It's uh, probably you want to be a chalk artist one day. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think I am one now. <laughs> Maybe professionally, eventually. Mhm. Mm okay. So. Awesome. To hit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm 
I'm here with Renee. Yep. Brandon. Yep. And what's your name? Leah. Leah. Yes. So I want to know what brought you here to Saratoga. I came to the track because I love watching the horsies run. Okay, Brandon. Uh, it's a great place to bring our family. It's just the most beautiful place on earth, and it's so fun here. Okay. <laughs> and do you do you guys bet? Yes, unsuccessfully though. Okay. A little bit. I, we bet? try. We try. Okay. I love to bet, and I think I'm better than I am. Okay. <laughs> and. Uh, I, I just asked you, do you love coming here to the track? We do. We do. We love coming to the track. Okay. Yes. yes. Yes, I love coming to the track. It's so fun here and beautiful and everyone's dressed up and pretty and the food is wonderful and lots to drink and just a great time. And on the count of three, so uh, like you three to say that you love Saratoga. Okay, one, two, three. We love Saratoga. Okay. <laughs> Pound. You three are great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>